welcome back to my channel. It's 2020 and I'm going to kick off this year by showing you how to set up Gatsby from scratch. I'm sure that Gatsby will get real big in 2020 as many people are starting to notice it and using it for the sites because Gatsby is great. I really love Gatsby myself and that's why I'm going to show you how to set up it from scratch. Gatsby has a CLI that you can use when you set up your site and that's great. I'm not saying that you should set it up from scratch yourself but it's great to know how it works under the hood because when you use the Gatsby CLI to set up a site you may not know how it works under the hood and why the site is getting created. So that's why I want to show you this in this video. We can use the Gatsby CLI either by installing it globally or using npx as I do now. So npx Gatsby and if we start a new site we just type new and our site name and uh, Gatsby test and we can kick this off and it's going to install everything for us now and it's grabbing the default starter for us. So we're not going to use this one, I'm just going to show you how to install it like this and then we're going to look at the code and I'm going to create this one from scratch without using the Gatsby CLI to show you how this works under the hood. It has created our site, so if we look here we have our Gatsby-test so we navigate inside of that one, Gatsby-test and we open up our code editor Whoops, code. And I'm going to show you here what the code looks like. It has installed Gatsby and it's created all these files for us. Uh, so we have the Gatsby config where you set up all your plugins and uh, you set up Gatsby with the site metadata and all of this. And you also have the Gatsby node. There's nothing in it now. That's where you can create pages and stuff like that. And you have the Gatsby browser, nothing in there, and the Gatsby SSR, nothing in there. So the only file here that's used now is the Gatsby, Gatsby config, and we're going to create our own Gatsby config. And if we look in the package.json, we have some dependencies here. We have Gatsby, Gatsby image. We're not going to install all of these plugins in this tutorial. We're going to install Gatsby, React, and React DOM, because I'm just going to show you how to set up the basics because, yet again, this is just a, a tutorial for you, so you should know how this works under the hood. I'm not saying that you shouldn't use the Gatsby CLI, because it's great to use the Gatsby CLI to start off your site with. Alright, and they also installed Predator, and they have some scripts here. They have the build script and the develop. We're just going to create this one in our file. Uh, and I also set up the source folder here with some components and pages. If you have the SRC folder and the pages, Gatsby will automatically create pages for you. So we're going to create one page in our setup and I'm also going to create a folder where you can put some MDX files. Because in this tutorial I'm also going to show you how to install uh, style components because you likely would want to use that. I use it all the time when I create React stuff. and. You may also want to use uh, MDX files, uh, Markdown files, in your Gatsby site. So that's why I'm showing you that. All right, so I can actually leave this code editor now. And this is some old stuff here. And I navigate outside of this one, clear my console. And now we're going to create all this uh, from scratch. So I create a new folder, make dear. And we can call it uh, Gatsby dash from dash scratch. All right. And I navigate inside of that folder, Gatsby dash from dash scratch. And I open up my code editor. And this is, of course, empty now. So we have an empty folder here now. And inside of this folder, we're going to create our Gatsby site. So, first of all, we can init this one with npm init. and set it with a Y flag, so we don't have to answer all these questions. So we set up this with uh, npm init, and it has created this package.json file for us. All right, so that's great. And you can also, of course, set up git on this one if you want to use git when you code, and you probably should do that also. But I won't do that in this tutorial. Okay, then we need to install some dependencies, so npm i. I'm using npm for this one. You can use yarn, of course, if you want to do that. So we're going to need Gatsby, and we're going to need React and React-DOM. So we install this once. All right, so it installed correctly, and that's great. I'm going to create some folders now. I'm going to use it from my code editor. You can, of course, use, it, use your terminal to do that instead if you want to do that. As you can see, we have our node module folder, and we have our package.json file. 
And inside of here, I'm going to create a new folder that's called SRC. And inside the SRC, I create a new folder that's called Pages. And this is how Gatsby works. If you want Gatsby to create pages automatically for you, you have to have a Pages folder inside the SRC folder. So inside of this one, Pages, I create a new file that's called index.js. And I create a new functional component. I have a little snippet for this one here. And we call it index. So what I do here, I just import React and I create a regular functional component and I export default it. We can maybe have some more fun inside of this. This is our awesome get beside. All right. Save this file. And we can also create a little shortcut for us in the package.json file. So we have these scripts here. We can create a new one that we call dev. And uh, we just run Gatsby develop. Like so don't forget the coma here and save it. And actually, this is it. This is everything you need to start off your Gatsby site. It's a really minimum installation now. We just installed Gatsby and React and React DOM, but it will work now if we try it out. We're in the correct folder here, all right. Then we can run our newly created script, npm run dev. And this hopefully will start up our Gatsby site and it seems to be working. And by default, it's on port 8000 and it should open up automatically. I have this one here, so if I reload it. You can see this is our awesome Gatsby site. So this is already working. This is actually the basic stuff that the Gatsby CLI new will do for you when you create your site with Gatsby CLI new. So this is the basic setup for Gatsby site. And this is done when you, when you create a site with Gatsby new and your site name. This is the dependencies that are the bare minimum to be installed for the Gatsby site to work. So as you can see, there's no magic to it. It just works if you install this yourself. You don't have to use the Gatsby CLI. And this is exactly what I wanted to show you. There's no magic using the Gatsby CLI. It's just different dependencies that it will install for you. And you can do this yourself from scratch if you want to do that. And as I said, I'm going to show you how to install the style components and also the use of MDX files in this tutorial. So I'm going to do that now. I break this one here. I clear my console. So we're going to need some dependencies if we're going to use MDX files. And actually, if you look at the Gatsby site, they're telling you here what dependencies you need. You need these ones here. And also, if you're going to use style components, they tell you how to do that here. And I can't say this enough because Gatsby documentation, it's really great. You will find everything you need inside of there. It's probably the best uh, documentation I ever read. So they tell you how to use everything inside of here. You can find it. And if you don't find it, you can probably Google it and find it somewhere else. But likely you will find it at the Gatsby site. So we will install all the plugins that we need and the dependencies for MDX files and the style components. We'll start with MDX files. So npm i Gatsby dash plugin dash MDX. And then we need the dependencies for MDX itself. So we have an at mdx-js mdx and at mdx-js react forward slash here also on these ones. And the last one we need is the Gatsby source file system because we're going to source these files from a folder that we create. Gatsby-source-file system. All right, and we wait for it to install. That went smooth. Uh, and yes, we're going to install the dependencies for our style components also. So npm i uh, gatsby-plugin-styled-components. And we need the style components itself. So styled-components, components. And we can also install the Babel-plugin-styled-components. All right. So this is all the dependencies we need to use MDX at our site and also style components. Now we have to create our Gatsby config file. Uh, so I'm going to go back inside of my code editor. 
And inside of here, we just create a new file that we call gatsby-config.js. And of course, it's important that you name it exactly like this, because that's how Gatsby want it. We're in Node.js land, so we can't use the ES6 uh, exports. So we're using module.exports, and we have our export object here. And first we can set our site metadata, so site metadata, capital M, and this is an object. We have our title, colon, and we have backticks. They like to use that even if you don't have to grab a variable or something inside of the string. So we're using backticks all the time also. Gatsby from scratch. And another backtick, a comma, and we can have our description for our site. Backtick. This is our awesome Gatsby from scratch site. And another backtick. You can probably have another comma there if you want to. All right, so this is our site metadata. Then we can initialize our plugins. So we have another comma, and then we have another property here that's called plugins. And the plugins is going to be an array of different plugins. So if you don't want to have any settings on your plugins, you can just have a string here. And for the style components, I'm not going to set any options now. So we just have it as a string here and initialize the plugin. So Gatsby-plugin-style-components. And a backtick and a comma. And we're going to initialize and configure our plugin for the MDX file now. And we do this with another object when we have to set a config inside of the plugin itself. So first we have a property that's called resolve, and this is the actual name of the plugin. So Gatsby-plugin-mdx, and a comma. And then we have our options for the plugin itself. And that's another object. And for this one, we're going to set the Extensions. This is going to be an array. And of course, these options will vary depending on what plugin you're setting up. So this is just how it works with this plugin. And the reason that I set up this option with the extensions here is that we want to be able to read both .mdx files and .md files. So we just specify .mdx. And the next element here in the array is going to be .md. And they are strings. Please note that. Okay, so that's our setup for the Gatsby plugin MDX. Then we also need to source our files from somewhere. And in this case, it's going to be files in our Gatsby installation. So we're going to create the folder that we can call content. You can call it whatever you want, but I'm going to call it content. And we need to tell Gatsby somehow to source the files from that folder. And we do that with the, with the Gatsby source file system plugin. So make sure you have a comma here and create another object. And we resolve yet again or Gatsby dash source dash file system and a comma. And we set the options for this one. This one is going to be an object. So first we're going to set the path. We need to specify what path we are going to grab our files in. So we have backtick and then we have a dollar sign because we're grabbing a variable now and inside of Node.js we can grab the current folder we're in with underscore underscore and dear name. And then we have a forward slash and we're going to grab them from content. We haven't created this folder yet. We're going to do that in a second and a comma, and we can just give it a name of content. All right, and do some auto formatting here and save this file, because this is all we need for this tutorial. We have successfully, hopefully successfully, set up the Gatsby style components plugin, so we can use style components with Gatsby. And we have also set up the Gatsby plugin for MDX files, and this will make sure that we can use MDX files to source our data from. And also we have to tell Gatsby about the folder where we're going to put our MDX files. So we're telling Gatsby that this folder that's called content, we have some stuff that we want to source data from inside of this folder. So that's how we tell Gatsby how to do that. 
And inside in the root folder, we create another folder that's called content. Inside of content, we can just create a, an MDX file. We can call it uh, yeah, my dash first dash post dot MDX. And we create a very simple markdown file here. So we have three dashes, and then inside of these dashes, I'm going to create my front matter for this one. And we call it my first post. We also set a date. And in Sweden, we format the date like this, 2020. Then we have the month. It's January, and it's the 10th today. And we can just have uh, published true. All right. And below here, we can set an H2 tag. This is title. And, uh, and here goes the text. All right. Very creative of me. Save this file. So this is actually it. It should be working now. We can try this out and see that I didn't make any mistake here. Okay, before we try this out, make sure that you name this correctly. I misspelled this one. It should be extensions with an S. So make sure that you also spell that correctly. Save the file. And also I misspelled the Gatsby-config file. Um, I had to blame this one on my new keyboard. I'm not used to that one yet. <laughs> or it's just me making mistakes here. Could be whatever. Okay, so make sure that you spell it, this uh, Gatsby-config. I misspelled this uh, before, so it should say G-A-T-S-B-A, -A, as in Gatsby-config.js. And now we can try this out. I'm going to break this one, clear the console, and npm run dev. And if we go to the GraphQL playground, it's at localhost 8000 forward slash, and then you have three underscores in GraphQL. I actually prepared a query here. I can remove this one. This is the URL to the GraphQL playground. So three underscores and GraphQL, and that will give you this playground. And in our case, we want to see if we get any MDX data. So from all MDX, this is really great that you have this navigation bar at the left. You didn't have that before when I started using Gatsby, but here it's really easy to find what you want to query. In our case, we want the nodes and we want the front matter. So we have the date published and the title, and you can see that it builds the query automatically for us here, and that's great. So we run this query, and as you can see, we get our front matter here, and that's working. So. This is how you set up MDX in Gatsby. And I'm not going to show you how to use style components in this one. I just installed the plugins for you to show you how you can install plugins. And hopefully this was uh, kind of an eye opener for you. So you understand now how Gatsby is uh, configured and set up from scratch to work. But I say this again, you should use the Gatsby CLI when you create your site because it will do all this stuff for you. So it's not uh, necessary to do all this things that I showed you in this tutorial. All right, this is the end of the first tutorial in 2020. I'll see you in the next one.